YouTube. How the duck you doing? Duck Films here. What I got for you is another discussion esque video where I'll be discussing what I think needs to be added to the game and let me know what you think should be added in the game in the comments down below. But quickly, before the video starts, I want to ask if you're new here and haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button as it greatly helps me out. And if you want to catch me live, come check out my Twitch where I practically stream every day. But that's enough about me, let's get right into the video. Starting off with what needs to be changed or what Embark should do, at least from a ranked player's perspective, is that they definitely need to shift the meta or some type of meta change. Now, what you mostly see in ranked or just normal casual play is two primary weapons for each class. For the light class, it's going to be the XP-54, being one of the most used light weapons for medium to close range, and the other primary light weapon that's going to be used is the LH-1, being super effective at pretty much all ranges. There's essentially no reason to not use this gun when you're playing as a light class. Now, I'm not saying to completely nerf these weapons to the ground, but I am saying to nerf it to some degree that allows you to play other weapons besides those two. But some people might say, hey duck, I can use the M11 for instance, or the 93 are in ranked and I do just fine. Now I'm not saying that's bad or anything playing other weapons, but you could definitely see a factor of your win loss or KD for instance by using those two weapons instead. Now another big item that the light has that needs to be changed, which I believe was changed while I was recording this, is the light special, the cloaking device. I cannot tell you how long this special terrorized the game. Now from talking to people that quit this game, there's quite a handful of people that said they quit the game because of the cloaking device. Most of them, in quote, said that the device was too strong for what the light could do. Although I do agree to a certain extent that the cloaking device was a tad bit too much, it definitely made sense to why the light class needed this. The light's class HP was low enough that it needed some type of escape besides the evasive dash and grapple hook. Now again, I'm not saying to nerf it into the ground, but to maybe make some type of change that allows players to see it a little bit better or even reducing the cooldown times. Now when it comes to the medium class, we can all agree that there's one specific weapon we all think about when we think of the medium class, and that is the F car. If you haven't been playing the finals or anything, then you wouldn't know about this weapon. But in the current state of the game, the F car is probably the most dominant weapon in the entire game. In the past, they've tried making nerfs to decrease the damage, and they even reworked the recoil, which was still not enough to fix the gun. Now again, just like my light class, I'm not saying to nerf this gun to oblivion, but they should nerf it pretty hard so some weapons like the model or perhaps even the magnum can be used more in the game. Right now, when you're playing the medium class, there's very little reason to not play the F car, as it's pretty much dominant in every case scenario at close range, medium range, and even long range. And the F card definitely rewards players if you have pretty decent aim. For instance, I believe it's around about 15 headshots or so with the F card to completely kill a heavy. Now the heavy being the class with most HP, I would hope that it would be able to survive at least one mag of the F car, but unfortunately they can't survive it. And when you think of the medium specializations, most people think about the old recon which was horrendous, and I personally believe that it should have never been in the game, which I'm glad they removed. But now we all have our attention set at the healing beam. If you play the finals, you know exactly how strong this special is, to the point where there's really no reason to play any other special on the medium class besides the healing beam. Although the healing beam is a definitely cool concept for this game and I believe it definitely fits very well. Again, I believe there needs to be some type of change to the healing beam. One way might be increasing the amount of time it takes to heal somebody to full HP, or just reducing the amount of HP you can heal in general. In my eyes, you shouldn't be able to heal a heavy from pretty much 0 HP to full HP, but that's just me. In my eyes, there needs to be some type of middle ground, or another reason to be able to use the turret or the DMAT ability. I think both of those abilities are super unique and should have a place to shine. Now when it comes to the heavy class, there's two weapons you can only think of. The first weapon being the Lewis gun and the second weapon being the SA-1216 or otherwise known as the heavy shotgun. Now I just want to quickly touch bases on the SA-1216 or the heavy shotgun and saying I'm glad that the devs kind of nerfed it, but prior to the nerf, the heavy shotgun was absolutely dominant. There was pretty much zero reason to use any other gun on the heavy class. Again, prior to the nerfs, you could pretty much one tap a light, two tap a medium, and about three to four shots to take down a heavy. Now, even after the nerfs, the heavy shotgun is still in a super good place for the meta, to the point where if you can't control the Lewis gun recoil, just use the heavy shotgun. 
In my eyes, the heavy shotgun is still super strong and useful to players that play heavy in ranked or just in normal game modes in general. Now, in my eyes, this could be a little bit of a biased opinion, but I personally thought the Lewis gun was okay before the nerf of it. As prior to the nerf, you would pretty much always see players using the heavy shotgun rather than the Lewis gun, which I personally liked as I was pretty much one of the only players using the Lewis gun at that time. But with this quote-unquote Lewis gun nerfed, it just pretty much reinforced the meta as it currently is. Players playing super huddled up together and pretty much no roaming was allowed now. And I believe another reason why the SA-1216 or Heavy Shotgun is still super strong is that the specialization that the Heavy has, the Mesh Shield, is still in a super good spot. Although they have previously changed the amount of HP the Mesh Shield gets, a thousand HP and the ability to gap close while using it is still a very strong technique to use. Now again, I'm not saying to super nerf the mesh shield to the ground, but to make some type of change to where you can't bring it up as fast, maybe reducing the HP to maybe even 800 HP, or just doing a complete rework of it in general. Now there's one thing I really want to talk about, especially in this meta, is the statement on nukes or the ability to throw 2c4 on a barrel and making a nuke which allows you to instantly kill a team or at least one player of a team or so on. Now I want to say when you were able to use nukes prior to season 2, I was definitely a person who used nukes all the time. My thought process was if I don't nuke an enemy player they would probably end up nuking me. So that was my justification of using nukes in the game. But I can also see it from a standpoint of someone that kept constantly getting nuked that it was definitely not an enjoyable experience for that player. However, since nukes are removed, the meta has greatly shifted to where players are just sticking close to each other and no one's going out and doing their own thing. This fundamentally shows how one gadget or ability was able to shape an entire meta around it, just like how it's doing now in this newish meta. That new meta being everyone sitting behind a mesh shield and holding hands. When you had nukes, you wouldn't play as together, meaning you'd be playing more spread from your teammates, hoping and praying that you wouldn't end up getting nuked. But when you play spread, only one of your teammates ended up dying from a nuke, whereas in the current meta, pretty much everyone is just holding hands behind a mesh shield. It definitely gets frustrating on a point, as you used to be able to not have to worry about that as much. Although there was many counters to nukes that people didn't really talk about, most of the thoughts were just people complaining about how they kept getting nuked, again, which I completely understand. But I personally believe that they should have kept nukes but somehow tried to tweak it so you could still use them but they didn't do as much damage to instantly wipe a team. Whether that being reducing the damage or completely changing the trajectory of the barrels in general. Now again, this is all taken from my opinion or perspective of what I see in this game, but take it as you will and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button as it greatly helps me out and I'll catch you in the next one.